Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Well, uh, we've got a couple of rates that we need to cover. Not interest rates this time. Uh, refresh rate versus frame rate. And, and they're two completely independent rates. Yes. Ideally, your frame rate and your refresh rate would always be the same. In, in sync. In sync. Um, or Backstreet Boys. But the... <laughs> I wasn't going there. <laughs> if you're watching something that's 1080p 60. 60 frames a second. It's FPS. 60 frames per second, sort of. It's refreshing at 60 frames. It's a 1080p 60 display. Oh, 60 hertz. 60 hertz. Got it. Yeah. And the image that's being displayed could have been shot on film. And that would have been 24 oh, frames per second. Okay. So you're watching 24 frames per second presented at a refresh rate of 60 hertz, or 60 cycles per second. So really, it doesn't matter? Well... It matters some because depending on what you're watching it on, you may have interpolated frames where the television is smoothing that out so that it looks smooth. Or you could be playing a game where it matters a lot because if you have 19 frames because the game's starting to run slow, you can get tearing where it got partway through a frame and it said, nope, I've got a new one. Show the rest of that frame. And you get this tear down the middle of the screen where they don't line up because 19 doesn't go evenly into 60. Okay. So what can we do about this? It sounds like a plague. <laughs> it's, it's definitely the bane of the gamer's existence, but there's not a whole lot you can do about it. If your game's only capable of playing at 20 frames per second and you've got a 60 hertz display you can't magically make the game go faster you so can... why would wait, wait wait so then why would you even buy the game it could first of all could you tell before you bought the game how many frames a second it's been optimized for no and most games don't don't tell you i mean you can be playing call of duty and they'll say it's optimized for 30 frames per second and some other first person shooter will occasionally have say yes it's 60 frames per second but they've probably done resolution tricks in order to get there. And if you remember our video about resolution versus interpolated resolution, you can remember that sometimes things aren't 1080p 60. They're just 720p 24 with a whole bunch of interpolated frames and resolution. Huh. Okay, so there's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing we can do about it except understand that what we're seeing is not necessarily going to be what we were advertised for. So, that, you know, that if we're talking about video or games, that may apply to the television, but what about to computers? So, so this is about 60 uh, hertz uh, refresh rate, LCD, standard, mm -hmm. seemingly. So, same deal. If you're watching a Blu-ray movie that was mastered at 24 frames per second, it's going to either, it's going to interpolate those frames or repeat the frames in order to get you from 24 to 60. And there's nothing the display is doing wrong and there's nothing the movie's doing wrong it's just one is a frame rate and one is a refresh rate and a good display will match the refresh i'm sorry will match the frame rate to the refresh rate so some monitors have a 24p mode mm. and they can display here's you know clunk 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 as opposed to having to repeat the frames and that gives you a truer representation of what the what the original image looks like mm.